The history of making glass. Glass is a hard transparent material that is used for all kinds of things. So, how is it made? Glass is made by melting sand or stone in a fire until it becomes a liquid. When the liquid cools and hardens, it becomes glass. Thousands of years ago, people didn't know how to make glass, and so they use natural glass. Natural glass is made in two ways. Firstly, glass can be made during a storm, when lightning hits sand. Thin glass tubes are produced in the heat. These kinds of glass are called fulgurites. Secondly, glass can be made when a volcano erupts. The rock that comes out of the volcano is very hot, so it's liquid. It cools very quickly and becomes glass. These kinds of glass are called obsidian. You can find this kind of natural glass in the islands between Greece and Turkey, where there are, there, there are lots of volcanoes. People first discovered how to make glass in ancient Egypt and in other countries along the eastern Mediterranean coast more than 500 years ago. They made simple objects with glass, like beads. Gradually, glass makers learned how to make more complicated things. They made colorful glass jewelry, perfume bottles, and tiny jugs and jars. Soon, people learned that honey and oils lasted longer in glass bottles rather than in wood or clay pots. In time, Egypt and Syria became the most important glass-making centers in the ancient world. However, glass was very difficult to make, and so it was very expensive. Only rich people could buy it. Then, in 100 BC, People in, in the ancient region of Phoenicia discovered a new way to make glass objects. They put a piece of hot glass onto a long metal pipe and then blew through the pipe so the glass blew up like a balloon. When the glass was still hot, they could change the, the shape or decorate it. Then this method of glass production was easier and faster, and so it was also cheaper. For the first time, ordinary people could buy objects made of glass too. This changed life in many ways. People could store food and drink in glass objects, so it kept fresh longer. Also, glass was more beautiful, so people had glass objects to, to decorate their houses. Glass making was very important during the Roman Empire. The Romans started to use glass in windows in buildings. Glass windows were, very, were fitted in the most important buildings in Rome. They made beautiful windows with complicated designs. Having beautiful buildings with beautiful windows in them was very important in Roman times. The Roman also used glass to create pieces of art. Some of the art they made can still be seen in museums today. During the Roman Empire, glass making became became popular all across Europe. If we are going to talk about the Islamic world, 
when the Roman Empire collapsed, glass making stopped in Europe. However, glass was still very important in the Islamic world, and they, there were many developments there. In the 9th century, the inventor and scientist Abbas ibn Furnas invented the first clear glass without any color in it. Before that, glass was a blue or green color. Abbas ibn Furnas was a very famous inventor who invented many different things. He invented corrective lenses which helped people with bad vision. These were made of clear glass. Then, by the 11th century, clear glass mirrors were produced in Islamic Spain, Andalus, and the first glass factories were built. The glass made in factories and was sent all over the world. Later on, in the 13th century, glass making became popular again in Europe. The, the Vatian island in Murano became the most important center of glass making. The Murano glass makers used local material to develop the finest, clearest glass. They created beautiful patterns in vases, bowls, and glasses. Their art was famous around the world. On the island of Murano, you can go and see the glass makers at work, creating beautiful glass objects. It was, it's very interesting to watch them. Today, the glass is a very important part of our lives. We use it for making objects, uh, such as bowls, vases, jewelry, and work all works of art but is also important for technology. We use it for TV screens, car wind screens, computer monitors, micro microscope lenses, mobile phones, screens, and all kinds of other machines and devices. Our lives would be very different without it. Think about it. Can you imagine a world without glass? Don't forget to subscribe, guys.